Hi, so in this video, we're going to cover how to export flat parts in PTC Creo for Send, Cut, Send. So this is a pretty quick and easy process here. The one major thing we're gonna to have to pay attention to right out of the gate is if we have any countersink holes like this. Because what it will do is it'll export in two concentric rings and it will cut this outside ring here. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So traditionally or normally what you'll wanna do is go ahead and suppress this feature and it will take away that hole so you won't have to worry about it. I'm going to leave it in just so you can see how you would deal with it in Adobe Illustrator later on just in case you forget to export one of them or to exclude one of those in your initial export. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to, with our part open, your part must be open. We're going ahead and click File. We're gonna click New. We are going to select a drawing and then we are just going to name this drawing. So I'm going to name it Part Export and I'm gonna click OK. And from here, you're going to be presented, presented with a lot of options. Usually what I do is I go to Empty and then I go ahead and just leave it as the standard size because most of the parts I make are very small. That standard C size is a 22 inch by 17 inch canvas. If you know your part isn't going to fit in that in one or dimension or another, just go ahead and select variable and make it bigger. There's no harm in doing that. I just don't usually need to do it. From there, we are going to click OK. And then you are going to be presented with a new empty window with this big blue box on it. So from here, we are going to have to select general view. We are going to select default all, and then we are going to select OK. And now we are still going to have a blank box. So what we're going to have to do is you actually double click in the blank box, and now your part will come up. And you'll also get this drawing view menu here. So what that's going to do is it gives us a lot of options on how to orient this part. Because as you can see, it still looks like a normal part and it's not flat, which you can't export to send, cut, send in that way. So what we are going to do is we are first going to look at this menu that comes up and it gives us all of the different orientations we can do. So we want it so that the part is flat and that countersink I showed you earlier is facing up. You don't necessarily have to have the countersink facing up. I'm just doing that so I can show you. So for me and for most people, front will be the option you select here, but you can obviously just try different ones until you get the correct orientation. From there, the next thing we are going to need to do is go to scale, and you wanna make sure the scale is one here. If it is not one, you can select custom scale, type in one and hit apply. All that does is it makes sure that if your part is two inches by six inches, it's exporting a two inch by six inch part. So it's very important that that is set to one. From here, we're going to go to view display and we are going to change this display style to wireframe. And the reason for that is when the laser is working, it just wants this little thin line to cut on the outside. It doesn't need the solid part. The solid part doesn't really do it any good. So by doing it in a wireframe, it's going to see the outside line. And from there, we can click OK and we are done in PTC Creo. So from there, we're going to click File, we click or we hover over save as, and we go to export. In export, you're going to be presented in the top left with a bunch of options here as far as how you can export it. For Inkscape, you're going to want to use a DXF. For Illustrator, which is what we're going to be using here, you're going to want to use a PDF. It's just what works better in the two softwares. There isn't really a functional difference between them. So for Illustrator, which is what I'm going to be using today, they work the same way. I'm going to export as a PDF. And from here, I can just export my part. I usually save it in the same folder or an export folder inside of my project, just as good practice. And then I'm going to click OK. And Creo, if you are interested, will bring up what the exported PDF looks like when you export as a PDF, not a DXF. From here, we're going to open Illustrator, we're going to click open, and we are going to go and retrieve that PDF we just saved. So that was this one. And from here, we are going to have, or we have our PDF open with the part that looks exactly the same as it did in Illustrator. So the first thing you wanna deal with that Creo always does, and it's really hard to get rid of, and it's a pain, is this really thin blue box. It's the same blue box we saw in the CAD software earlier, and we have to remove it because send, cut, send, the computer will try to cut that outside box. 
So basically the easiest way to do this is just to highlight over the different areas and make sure that all the sides have deleted their parts. So I just hover over each side. There's no more line there. We're good to go. And then the last two things we have to deal with here are that countersink I mentioned earlier and the scale box. So the scale box, you can just delete, you highlight over it, you delete it. And for the countersink hole, you'll see again, the two concentric rings. So what would happen here is it would cut this inside hole and then it would cut this outside hole and leave you with a much bigger hole than what you wanted initially. So the best thing to do is just to delete this outside ring so that you're left with the original screw hole, which you can countersink later. And from there, we are going ahead and click Control Save, which will save the PDF. And then we're going to click File, Save As, and we are going to export it as an Illustrator file. SendCut Send will take a DXF or an Illustrator file, but we prefer the Illustrator file, which is why we're going to use that here. So I'm going to save it as an Illustrator file. You can save Illustrator 2020 is fine. Click OK. You don't usually need to change any of those options. And from here, what we are going to do is go ahead and upload our part just to make sure that it is set up correctly and that the dimensions show the same. One thing with Creo that tends to happen from time to time is the dimensions will change. So it's really important just to make sure that it exports properly. So here you'll see six by two inches. So then what I'm actually going to do is go back into my part here and make sure using the analysis and the measure tool that my part is six by two inches. So if I do click and control click, two inches there and six inches here. That's not something you have to do, but that's a good practice to have. And that's it. Thanks for watching.